Hello and welcome back to Europa Universus 4. I am, of course, Lord Forrent, here playing as the growing power of Holland. So we've managed to sneak our way up to 209 development. We've got some colonies going in the Caribbean. We are still making money in the old world, and we are getting closer and closer to our next reform, which is nice. I'm still saving these for if I have to develop a institution and this when I actually have some income then I can actually build buildings which right now would I'm building buildings but I'm not saving up a lot of cash so let's do trade of course we're the Dutch always all trade all the time now Jamaica is done and we've shift off shift shipped off that word did not want to come out we've shipped off the people from flanders to the caribbean so i th hmm, these are pretty valuable provinces over here not so much over here even though they're all on the same island which has its own advantages i think we're going to work on these islands over here where there's more development uh, once we get our colonists back, we can't expel any minorities right now, I don't think. Maybe we can. Um, wait, oh, is Antwerp Dutch? Antwerp might already start out as Dutch. It's Flemish. Why can't I ship them off? You are in there. Unless I'm already shipping them off somewhere. I don't think I am, though. No, that's odd. Maybe you can't do it while they have um, separatism. Okay, well, let's get another colony going. I'll try and do the ones that are all linked. That way the AI can actually defend them. And that would be, what, two, three, four. We need... We, once the, all those are done, we should get a colonial nation there, which would be nice. Obviously, I think we need to get it to, what, seven or eight? Or is it ten? I can't remember. We have to get it considerably higher. We want to try and get as many merchants as possible. It might be seven. I can't remember. Anyway, we need to get a good amount of trade coming from that. We have a revolt in Dominica, which is interesting. Uh, I think I'm just going to accept their demand. Oh, no. I was going to accept their demands, but it's going to hurt my capital region, too. I guess we got to ship over an army, which is... A bit of a problem. Um, let's build some ships. That'll get me eight units. Okay. Other than that, I'm gonna wait till they come. Eventually, once they occupy the army, they should automatically move to another region. Hopefully they move to one of my lands. If not, we just let that province be occupied for as long as it takes us to get a uh, navy built up a bit. In the meantime, however, let's get another unit on the field. Because I believe I can afford one. Yes. And you guys are, in fact, still exploring Brazil. Um, we are ahead of time in tech, so I'm going to strengthen our government just a little bit. Uh, 48. That way I don't have to deal with many of the negative events. 66, yeah. One more and we would actually be tolerant of heretics, which in some in some ways we don't actually want <coughs> excuse me, to be in fully tolerant of them, otherwise they'll start popping up in our land, although they won't hurt our religious unity too much. Stability, that's nice. Oh, okay. Um, we'll take the prestige. We'll take the 80 ducats. We'll start the exploration, and we will put in a... suppose at some point it makes sense just to put marketplaces in every single one of my provinces, but I think for now we're going to put in a... Um, we should put in a shipyard somewhere. Does Friesland belong to anybody? I don't think so. Okay, so we'll base our navy out of Friesland, oddly enough. So in the future, we'll try and make sure we build it there, because it'll go 25% faster. 
the odds of us losing Friesland are reasonably slim. Um, we just have to hold on to it for another 100 years or so. 110 years, and then we get to keep it permanently. Core-wise, at least. Uh, we don't really want the admin idea, but I also want the admin tech. Okay. I think we'll just hold on to it. If we need to, we'll spend the Diplo points developing our lands. Because it's reasonably cheap to develop it still. Yeah. Holders, everything, yeah. We should do reasonably well. Um, we may want to take, at some point, economic ideas that we can go really tall. Twenty percent cheaper would be nice, but I'm thinking that should probably wait more towards late game. Next one almost definitely has to be trade. I don't know. Quality ideas actually would be worth it to some degree as the Dutch. Does that get us anything good? Uh, fire. Oh, free money from Denmark. That's nice. Uh, naval ideas. Does that get us anything good? Afraid I'm not up to date with my naval idea stuff. In global engagement. What about maritime? Defensive. Uh, well, if I want to build an unbelievably large navy, I do that. I think we just got invaded in my... Oh. No, we didn't. These guys wandered into a rebel army. Of course they did. Oh, of course they did. Hopefully he's going to wait till he rebuilds before he moves out. In reality, it's almost like conquistador-led armies in the New World shouldn't, um, if they're on seven cities, shouldn't run into rebels. But then again, I guess you could use that to try and uh, sneak around rebel armies. Come on. Um, why are you not exploring? Um, maybe he's just waiting for it to rebuild. I don't know. Okay, he was. Interesting. So the AI is actually intelligent enough now to wait. Uh, another colony, it, uh, well, my colonist was kicked out because of the rebels. Um, go for St. Martin. And we'll send our uh, navy over. Yeah. Hopefully we can beat these rebels reasonably well. Eight troops, we should have a really good shot at it. To the Caribbean. We are going to do... I don't really want to give the burgers any more influence. Uh, I guess I'll give it to the clergy, who have so far been the most tame in our government. Plus the free admin policy late game is usually useful. And if, if people are curious, St. Martin is a very interesting island in the Caribbean, specifically its naming. <laughs> it's named like three times St. Martin. Okay, let's... I think I'm going to land first, occupy, and maybe trick the rebels to attacking me. Regardless, we'll win the battle. We've got drilled cavalry units of all things. Plus, they have no troops compared to us. Although I am impressed that an island that is that small can muster that many rebels. I guess development-wise, there's actually a lot of people living here in the scheme of things. Okay. Back to Europe we go. Oh, yeah. Yep. I guess we... Uh, do more production. Defender of the Faith, if we need it, is a backup thing for the additional morale. Boost those two. Uh, we'll take the admin points, actually, on all honesty. Mm, um, well, if I do forts on border with rival, that would make that fort entirely free. On the other hand, I really should try and keep this innovation going. 
The innovations actually so far have been saving us a fair amount of monarch points. Two percent, yeah, it's reasonably good. Back to drilling, my army. Back to drilling. Actually, let's move you into this province. I think leaving them there and drilling reduces. Oh, it doesn't reduce unrest. Yeah, they're not going to revolt anyway. Should not be a problem. And actually, it does reduce the unrest a bit. Okay, I thought it did. I just thought it would be more. Uh, I'll do another two cannon, because we're starting to get to the point where cannons are really useful. Before everyone gets new forts, the cannons are cannons are king. Now, I don't intend to attack anybody out here. I'm just curious just to... Okay, so I could call in my two small allies, but none of my large ones in event of a war. On the other hand, everybody still hates us, so... I think I'll just raise favors with these guys so that they're never going to essentially betray me. Uh, conquistador, stick you in there. Cannot hunt while exiled. See, this this might be one of my least favorite things ever. Cannot hunt while exiled, which means I have to find a, a weird place to put it where it's no longer exiled. Which has to be one of mine or my allies' territories, which means I've got to send ships to the New World again. Uh, okay, I'll send two flutes down there. I should actually look at upgrading my navy because some of those ships are outdated now. 186. Mm. 250, yeah, I'll do that. Upgrade. I stink since my army and, oh, sorry, my navy a little bit. It's another colony done. We're actually going to be exceeding our colonial limit. But I don't know why it didn't want to let me send my colonists there. But So our income's going to take a nasty little hit for a while. Hopefully it's not too bad. If it is, we'll just recall it and move back to the other island. Okay. Eh, three. Cost me three extra gold. We don't care too much about other religions because we are reasonably tolerant. Although we could convert it, I don't think we have to, do we? No, we, we, we accept it and we tolerate them. Yeah, it doesn't affect my unity. Currently increases it by 10 because it's tolerated. So, um, there's a chance that one of these centers will convert it back. Otherwise, we have Anglican in our land. I don't think we can swap to Anglican, can we? No, that's too bad. Anglican would be a really nice religion to swap to. I like its bonuses. Specifically the just the amount of money you can get every couple months for every couple years for free. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of that convert province because it's going to stay there forever at this rate. And our relationships are slowly, slowly, slowly convincing people to like us again. Well, you know, I said the HRE was converting fast to Protestantism. Apparently Brunswick is putting up a fight. Although I don't think they're going to do very well. Although they do have Catholic zealots in their capital. And the rest of their lands are being converted to Protestant. I'm honestly surprised that uh, Bohemia hasn't converted. Interesting idea. Um, we'll take the interesting idea. Free innovation, I guess. Uh, I'll try to convert all of them. Free free um, population in a colony. That's that's pretty useful.
we might end up being ahead of time in Diplotech, although I really should spend the Monarch points on something. Um, we'll do one more cavalry unit, round out our full flanking range or whatever. I don't entirely understand the combat system still, so it's not intuitive, let's put it that way. Um, Conquistador, oh yes, we had these guys. These guys are still no longer exiled, right? They're still exiled, yes. Okay, go to there. Root out the syncretism? Or syncraticism, I don't actually know the pronunciation. Um, hunt for seven cities of gold. Oh, that's nice. It can actually, it will automatically use the fleet to... Oh, no, it won't. Okay, I thought it was. I thought it was automatically using the fleet to move, but apparently that doesn't work. I was going to say, that's really intuitive of the game, and then it failed. <laughs> Not as intuitive as I thought. Um, we know all about Brazil. Really tempted to start to try and colonize Brazil, although the Portuguese have arrived. We could probably net Dutch Guiana, at least. Surprise! I'm honestly surprised there's an achievement for the Dutch to get, like, Guiana and all their other stuff. Just the Republican tradition. Yeah, South China, North China. Obviously, I already have the achievement, uh, J G Mandrinel, I think. I can't say it right. Which is, you create the Netherlands, but when I get it, that would be how you get the achievement anyway. It's reasonably simple, form the Netherlands. Having already done so, I can't get it again. It would be nice if they let you see and regain achievements that you'd already gotten. Not as, like, getting them again, but just showing if you've met the requirements for them under achievements. It would be kind of nice. Ugh. I'm going to really have to take this Diplotech, because then the better infantry will be very useful. Um, apparently we've got more spies in Burgundy, which is kind of cool, I guess. The French really don't care about us that much, which is nice. Um, any chance the French are going to get wars of religion? Unlikely. Possible, but highly unlikely. St. Lucia has been... gotten has coffee on it, which is interesting. Um, marketplace. I suppose I should try and develop my colony a little bit, shouldn't I? Our actual development's probably going to fall once we get our colonial nation, which is kind of amusing, but... It's the way subject nations work. Not that I'm dying for it, but it would be nice to be in the Great Powers, if only for the power projection. Uh, we are going to insult somebody, or a couple somebodies, to get our... Our projection over 50. Oh wait, that doesn't actually give us any power projection. I thought you guys were our rivals. Oh, because I have a truce, I guess that doesn't work. And then we will basically just insult these guys. 57. That's reasonably good, even though we insulted people. Try and keep the HRE as happy with us as possible. Even though we're just going to offend them further in 20 years or so. Or less. Okay, 50 Diplo points, thank you. Most of these guys actually like us, which is kind of funny. Oh, we can get a tech ahead of time. It's expensive, but two more innovation, I guess, right? 2.4 for that. We'll take the prestige. We're being rivaled by Portugal, probably because of our colonies. That would be my guess. Uh, we will flog them. Rather use them, lose the military points than anything else. This is a little annoying. Brabant has fled into a trade league, so we can't beat them up anytime soon. Uh, guilt tree, I guess, would be a better target. Well, actually... Lubeck, Hamburg, Dismarchen, Riga. Mm. Dismarchen is nothing so great that I feel the need to have them. 
Um, Riga is there, but when I can call in Denmark, who's about to annex Sweden, uh, <laughs> I don't think they're going to be a real problem. Anyway, that is probably going to be it for me. Uh, we just apparently squashed a rebel group, so let's go to the next month, rebuild that. Uh, we can't trade. Okay, that will be it for this episode. Next episode, we will probably get a colonial nation and see about maybe attacking Giltry here, grabbing the last Dutch province. I think that's the last Dutch province. Yep, last Dutch province, and then see about maybe expanding a little bit more into the HRA. So, thank you guys all for watching. Bye for now.